Oh my god, ang galing. Ang galing. Woo! Okay. So, again, the um the dueling scene is wow. Fan service. <laughs> Fan service oriented, yeah, if you ask me. Kasi uh, your opponent had uh what is this? Your opponent paid homage. He paid homage to uh, probably three, probably three of the most iconic uh, monsters in both the anime and the game. As cats. Ilumang pusa. Blue eyes, white cat. Red eyes, black cat. At saka si odd eyes, odd eyes, twin tail cat. So he paid homage there to uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, at the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, the Ace ni Yuya sa Arc Fight. Wow, all right. I mean, may weakness pala to si Luke. Ah, uh, worry, may pagka worry ward pala ito. So um, this episode exposed his uh, his weak side. Wow, okay. The script was really good. Okay? Do it and non-do it. So... Uh, okay, I, I... I'm totally speechless right now after... Right after watching the episode. I say... Uh, this episode paid homage to... Uh, like I said... Uh, like I said a while ago. The three... Three of the most iconic monsters in both the anime and the game. I have okay. No, I don't have any. I don't have a blue eyes white dragon yet card, but I do have one set of red eyes black dragon because the rush dual deco is it's mostly based on him, mostly based on red eyes, and of course, uh, and I have two copies of all eyes pendulum dragon. So, yeah, I, uh. It's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. And it's good enough, it's more than good enough to cap off the cap off the summer anime season for Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. Kasi, hindi pa, magta, hindi pa magtatapos ito. Alright? Hindi pa magtatapos ang Yu-Gi-Oh! 7. Asaan nyo yan? Asaan nyo yan? It won't be... It's episode 17, so 17 episodes in. Naka, ilang season na siya. Ako dalawang anime seasons na. And, well, you know, you know how a Yu-Gi-Oh! series operates. Hindi siya magtatapos to fewer than 100 episodes. Right? Fewer than 120. Because it brings... Uh, brings ended with 120 episodes. And of course, the most is dual monsters. So as I was saying, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 17 thumbs up, right? Kasi, what? It's another fan service episode, okay? Trademark na... Trademark na kasi ng Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 yan, okay? It's been, uh... It has developed into a fan service anime. So, yeah. It's beginning to... Well, it, has, it already has that kind of identity. Okay? So, which makes it unique from the other six. Uh, from the... Uh, from the previous six series. Okay, yun ang matagal ko na sinasabi sa inyo mga ka-lifestyle. Of how... Uh, how much this... Uh, how much this anime is giving back to fans. Okay, fans and players. Let's just, let's just say fans and players. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 17. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. All right, so King's Avatar season two episodes one and two. Because I think uh, I think binak to back episodes sila. Uh, due to scheduling uh, scheduling tactics, I think. Pero nonetheless, okay, the first two episodes of uh, of 
this anime's second season, which has just started as well. Let's just say, um, Ayos, okay? Ayos na Ayos. Uh, everybody now knows Yeku or Yezhu. Uh, how good he is and how uh, I don't want I wouldn't want to call him evil because he's, he's the lead character here. Okay? He's um, conniving, okay? uh, double dealing. All right. So uh, Ye Yezhu has just showed us how. Um, how, how much of a deal maker he is. Okay. Kaya pala, okay, anak mayaman. So, galing sa mayamang pamilya, marunong, marunong magnegosyo. Alright, so, hindi uh, na nakakapagtataka doon. Okay, so, on how we, on how we dealt with the other clans during this, during the first two episodes. Wow, okay. Simply amazing. Wow, I'm, a, I'm quite a deal maker myself, pero I find, I find this, this one takes the cake, okay? So either, umaga, either deal with us or die. Yan lang yun. Either deal with us or, well, or be left in the dust. Yan lang yan. May konting politika involved kasi is para umangat yung, yung guild na binuo niya. Understandable kasi I think yun ang... Uh, I think yun ang politikang nangyayari sa online gaming uh, sa online sa online gaming world right now okay? I've been off the online gaming world since 2005 okay I've been off I've been off of that since 2005 so for 15 years wala na akong idea right pero it happens it happens between guilds it, it really happens between guilds okay so the graphics are uh, better than season one. The graphics are better than season one, and the way they started off season two, okay, all right, really, it's really good. It's a, uh, it's a good recurring anime to to sink your teeth into. Although it is Chinese, I don't know uh, Chinese, Taiwanese, or Hong Kong, or Singapore, yeah, but pasa ang ginito. Ang dinikong language, ang dubbing language, I think it's in Chinese. Eh. It's either Hokkien or Mandarin. Uh, that, those are the only, the only two Chinese languages I, uh, I, I'm able to recognize by ear. But I don't speak them. I don't even read them. Uh, I don't ko lang. They, um, this anime's new season, uh, in my opinion, started out strong. Really started out strong. Compared to uh, other game animes uh, na kasabay niya ngayon sa this na makakasabay niya this fall uh, it's a good start it's a good start to get into to the game genre King's Avatar season 2 now uh, i've seen uh, i've seen other game animes before like uh, Ragnarok the animation okay it's, that's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites Ragnarok the animation and of course Log Horizon now, I don't want to preempt uh, Log Horizon, but uh, no, it's not going to, it's not going to, hindi uh, sila magkakasabay ng Log Horizon kasi uh, this will be done before uh, mid-December, ang season 2 ng King's Avatar. So, hindi na niya makabutan ng Log Horizon. Pero it's a, uh, I would recommend this anime to you if you're, if you're waiting for Log Horizon like me. We all know, Log Horizon Season 3 starts in January. It's a good way to uh, get back into the game genre. This one, King's Avatar. King's Avatar Season 2, Episodes 1 and 2. Back back episodes, remember? Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'll the Real Gun Season 3 finale. Yeah, no. Alright. Uh, 
I'm a bit uh, disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed with the finale. Alright. Kung baga, doon na tinapos ni Miko to eh. Okay. Pero, we have to understand. Kasi, wala eh. Uh, this doppelganger has no soul. Walang pakialap. Hindi naman masasabi yung halang ang kaluluwa eh. Wala kang kaluluwa eh. If you were in Miku to Shoes, you would, you would probably, you would probably do the same thing. You would end the fight right there, with your, uh, with, with all that you got. You go all in, boom. Okay. You go nuclear. Tapos, <laughs> tapos ang away, tapos ang naban. But um, I don't know. Para hindi tapat ganon yung eh. Para hindi tapat ganon. But overall, okay, but overall, season three was a uh, was a really good was a really good season for Railgun. Okay, it was a really good season. Um, fight scenes, okay. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be embarrassed recommending um, Railgun season three to uh, to a virtual newbie to this franchise. Okay, I would uh, I would not uh, I would not be ashamed. Okay. Kite. Yung finale, gila nito ko rating. Okay. Pero, overall, uh, Real Gun Season 3, it's a good one. It's a good one. But, uh, as for the finale, they could have done more. The animators, the, the creators could have done more. Para medyo, there's, there's one question to be uh, answered there. What will now happen scavenger. Okay? So, hanggang doon na lang pa sila. Parang i-re-raise na lang ng status. Eh, hindi sila nabayaran. Okay? Hindi sila nabayaran. So, hanggang doon na lang pa sila. Okay? And, uh, yeah, that's, that's one question that remains unanswered. Pero, I don't think that's a question that needs to be answered. Ang sa- inalat sila kay Accelerator. Inalat din. Muntik na sila ma- uh, maalat kay Miko to. Alright? Those are two of the two of the most powerful espers in Academy City. Okay? Muntik na silang mabusa ng buhay pareho. If it weren't for uh, if it weren't for uh, the scholar leader. For their leaders, uh, politicking, sales talk, siempre. Eh, they chose na lang to, they chose na lang to help me ko to take out this double ganger. So, in a way, pala, in a way, say, Miko to, me to did all the work, right? <clears throat> it's better not to interfere in a, in a, in a level five experts business than to join, than to actually help them out. Okay? Say, yeah. It's also best to wait for that level 5 expert to ask for help. Ginawa naman ni Miko to eh. Kumingin ng tulong kay Shirai. And I think kumingin na rin siya ng tulong kay kay Shokuho. Para habulin yung yung bumaril kay ano. Yung bumaril kay Kuriba. So, yeah, I'm a bit yeah, I was a bit disappointed. I was a bit disappointed with the finale. But overall, Wigan Season 3 is a good one. I think Railgun has yet to see its best season. Okay. So far, its best season was season 1. Its best season was season 1. And, yeah. They have yet to top season 1. Okay. But overall, again, I repeat. Railgun season 3 is a good, uh, it's a good season for them. Sa finale lang naman sila... Uh, Gumanon. Alright. I was supposed to give them a uh, a thumbs down, pero uh, inalala ko lang yung ane. Eh. Inalala ko lang yung yung mga past uh, ratings ko, yung mga ratings ko for their past episodes. So, all of them were all of them were good episodes, naman eh. Okay, all of them. Some I give the two thumbs up actually. Nakita niyo naman, di ba? Especially when uh, especially when they came back with this arc. 
especially when they came back with this art and a few thumb, two thumbs ups. So, again, to araw kaga ako ng Rage on Season 3 finale. But, <clears throat> I would love to I would love for Railgun to come back for another season. Okay? I would love for Railgun to uh, to have another season. <clears throat> Kasi nangyayari, salita na sila ng index eh. So, next year would probably be, of course, index. <clears throat> but I think, um, okay, here's my conspiracy theory about it. Here's my conspiracy theory for you guys, for you mga lifestyle. Accelerator may be coming back for another season. Okay. <clears throat> and the key to my theory is scavenger. Okay. I got a, I got a good feeling that uh, accelerator and scavenger will cross paths again. So that will be the fuel for. Probably accelerator season two. If not next year, probably probably in the next few years. Okay? But I'm sure of it. Real gun won't be back for real gun won't be back for another two years. Kasi next year more likely index ang makakaroon na season three. Uh, season four na pala. Okay, season, I think season 4 na siya. Season 4 na ang index. Kasi medyo mahaba nagpahinga ang ano eh. Mahaba rin nagpahinga ang uh, Railgun uh, seasons 1 and 2. It was a long break for them. So I think the uh, I think the the producers decided to have them in alternate years. Okay. So yeah, it's either season 3 or 4. Uh, kasi I, I, I am, I'm not an index fan. I am more uh, a real gun fan than an index fan. And I haven't seen Accelerator yet. And I haven't seen Toa no Agako no Accelerator yet. Ang talagang natutuong, natutuong talaga was real gun. The, the series that started it all. The series that started this franchise. Let me repeat. Toa no Agako no Real Gun Season 3 finale. Let's be clear on that. Uh, I, I'm not supposed to make this uh, warning, but I seem to have misplaced the uh, the backup copy for the Apariranman finale review. So we're gonna make it right now. Uh, but overall, uh, it's a great finale. Okay. <clears throat> uh, three, I've seen three cliffhanger moments in this finale. Okay, yo. Paggapin nila Dylan and TJ kay Gil. Yung pagpigil ng Team Apare sa rumaragas ang tren na puro dinamita ang loob. Puro dinamita nasa loob. It's loaded with explosives. Kasi pag bumangga sa dun sa ano, yung parang... Parang guard. Parang parang guardrail. Para pigilan talaga yung tren. Yun ang, yun ang, yun ang function nun eh. Pag, pag bumangga gano'n yun, sasabog yun. So, they were able to stop that. And of course, um, the photo finish by Team Apare in the in the race itself. So, talagang come from behind. <laughs> grabe, grabe yung panal, grabe yung ano, grabe yung uh, moments tayo. Okay, never have I seen, never have I seen uh, a finale with three cliffhanger moments. All right, tatlong cliffhanger yon. Nakita ko. Talaga masasabi mong uh, series finale? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll explain later. So yun nga. Okay. It was one of the it's one of the best finales I've seen so far this year. Okay. If not one of the best this year. All right. <clears throat> Sorry for my explanation. 
I am hoping and praying that Apare Ranman gets another season. But, I say PA Works is, well, PA Works is actually known for Studio Originals. Okay? It's one of the more, um, but you can say, one of the powerhouse studios in Japan. Powerhouse animation studio to. Okay? And the bulk of their projects are originals. Bira silang maghango, bira silang magbase sa isang manga or anything. Asa talagang sariling gawa nila. They are known for that. And well, it's 50-50. Okay? Right now, um, PA Works is um, on the heels of their new project, um, The Day I Became a God. Ito yung sumunod sa Apareran Man. Right? But, well, I hope fans, I hope anime fans would uh, would lobby for an Apareran Man Season 2. Kasi hindi, hindi pa tapos to. Eh, hindi pa tapos. We can bank on Apare's goal of building an airplane. Because he's built, because he's already built a car out of a ship. <laughs> yung vapor, vapor ginawa niya yung kotse. Laging amphibious vehicle pa. Alright? Laging bridge layer pa. Bridge layers aren't... In reality, bridge layers haven't been invented yet. Early 1900s. Early 1900s, wala pa... Hindi pa uso bridge layer nun. Nagkaroon na ng bridge layer nung World War I. Alright? Doon na nagkaroon ng bridge... Doon na lumabas... Doon nang lumabas sa mga bridge layer. So, grabe, okay? It's a wild finish to a great anime. It's a wild finish. So, Apare Ranman finale. Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Well, I, ho I hope PA works um, brings this brings this anime back for another season. Kasi, eh, matapos na eh. Okay? Hindi pa nakikwench ni Apare yung kanyang drive for um, drive for acknowledgement. Drive for excellence. Okay? Hindi pa tapos ang hindi pa tapos ang anime na to. Yolo. It's far from over. And kung napanood niyo ang finale, nagano eh, nangako si Gil, nagaganti siya. Hey, he was a, he was um uh, dito. He was about to be sent to the police eh. Yun na sinabi niya. Papatayin ko kayo lahat. You know, those were his exact words nung dinadala na siya sa mga dinadala na siya sa police. Papatayin ko kayo lahat. So we better take his word for it, okay? Knowing what he can do, pwede mangyari, okay? This can be the baseline for uh, for a season two, yung yung bantani gil na yon. Pero I I surely hope PA works with uh, would give this anime another season. Okay? It deserves it, okay? It's gained a fandom. Okay? It has gained a fandom, although. Although, hindi naman, hindi naman masyadong hype, hindi masyadong hype like God of High School or, or ReZero, okay? Pero, it's a great anime, okay? Something, uh, something that PA Works can bank on, okay? But, they're actually not known for franchises, PA Works, but, sana, sana, okay? Sana, mabigyan ng season 2 to, ang apareran man. So, Ulitin ko. Apare Ranman finale. Two thumbs up. Alright? Now let's get this into the digest. Wow! <laughs> GB8 finale. Damn. I couldn't ask for more, okay? I could not ask for more. Yung stab wound ni, ni Sensui, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Grabe. Napatay nga nila si Yoshinaga, e eh, siya naman nasasak ng isang GB ah. A GB that is not part of the actual fight. Overall, okay, it's a good apocalypse anime, right? 
You can put it now in the league of high school of the dead. You can put that in. You can put it in that and uh, in that league already. Kasi parang ganon yung parang ganon yung atapos ni. Eh. Pero in the case of GB8, in the case of GB8, dalawang dalawang na sila matitira don. Okay. Now I don't know if uh, if since sen- we can survive that. Kasi dami talaga. And, and he has the prospects of turning into a GBA himself. Kasi na, may stab wound siya from a GBA. At saka, hindi sure kung, kung may, may kamandag yung sumaksak sa kanyang GBA or wala. Okay. Wow. Okay. It was a, uh, one of the wildest endings one of the wildest endings to an anime this year. GB8. Right? Um, they were able to they were able to totally kill uh, the final boss, which unfortunately happens to be no- Yoshinaga. You ask me, he deserved to die. Okay? Siya palang puro dulo ng lahat ng to. At ginamit lang niya ang lahat ng nakapaligid sa kanya. Even even the three warriors from from another time si Sensui, Kenruho, at si Yokinojo. Para na sa makakuha ng vaccine not to cure humans, okay? But to preserve their intelligence. So Ano ba si vaccine yun? Ba? How can you um, develop such an what well, an underdeveloped vaccine yung pala wala siyang pake. Okay. His research has been uh, successful. Uh, what you call this? His research has been done. Ang plano pala niya, bumalik sa kanilang planeta with Meteora. Pero unfortunately, Meteora's dead already. Napati nila Sensui. So, so, he vents his frustrations, his anger out on the others. So, yun na nangyari sa episode 11. Episode 12, he, con- he continued that. But unfortunately, the remaining, the remaining four found a way to kill him. Okay. So, uh, and I feel a little sorry for Sensu because uh, he might, well, I don't know if he's going to die here. There's a, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the biggest unanswered question here. Nabuhay ba siya after, uh, attacking all those Jibia? Nabuhay ba siya? Okay. Will Ken Rocco and Kathleen be able to locate him once he's done with those Jibia? Or will he turn into a Jibia himself? Okay. So, wow. Okay. Basta, ang wild ng ending ng anime na to. But in order for in order for the newbies to to fully understand this anime, you have to you have to watch it from the beginning. Okay, the final two episodes baka confuse kayo. Pero overall, GB8 is a great anime. Okay, talaga. Wow, <laughs> ang wild talaga ng ending. Ang wild ng ending. Okay, um, typical of an apocalypse anime. But uh, unfortunately, like it's um, like uh, yung kaligan yung ngayon na uh, high school of the dead. Dito halos wala na tira sa kanila. Halos wala na tira. So if you would count Sensui out, it would only be Kathleen and Ken uh, It's a rather sad ending, but hey, wild or oh, still, it's a wild ending. So GB8 finale deserves this. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up for the GB8 finale. Um, I've actually grown to love this anime. Alright? And it did not disappoint me with the ending. Okay? So, it's not your run-of-the-mill apocalypse anime. I tell you. Kakaiba story niya. Kakaiba yung pinagsimun yung pinagmulan ng apocalypse na to. Kakaiba yung pinagmulan niya. And, wow. 
One of the wildest endings this year. Okay? One of the wildest. To think uh, it did to think it would develop into that. Uh, in just Oh, in just two episodes, nalagas lahat ng halos nalagas lahat ng bida. Okay? Dalawa na natira sa kanila. And uh, si si Sensui, uh, ganun pa eh. 50-50 pa yung uh, chance of surviving. Surviving of uh, survival, uh, surviving uh, tra transformation into a Jibia or two, two, two things will kill him actually. Either he transforms into a Jibia himself or yung isang batal yung isang batal yung Jibia na susuguri niya yun ang papatay sa kanya. Okay? So, he has a slim he has a slim to none chance of surviving. Okay? So, but, but the prospects of you can make a season 2 out of it. You can make a, either a season 2 or at least or at least an OVA. Okay? Or at least an OVA. As to what happened to Sensui after that. Or to uh, to the remaining two, si Kenroko at si, Ke si Kathleen. So, that's the, only, that's the biggest unanswered question here. Uh, did, did Sensui survive that attack? Yung ginawa niyang pagsugod. Is he still human or is he or has he turned into a Jibia? So, yun ang pinakamalaking tanong dun eh. That needs to be answered with either an OVA or a full season. So, it's up to Studio Box now to... to... what you call this? To... decide. If GBA comes back uh, for, a new, for another season or by other means. Pwede manga! And then, like, manga nga pala ito eh. <laughs> okay. So, it's either an OVA or another season. Right? It's either an OVA or another season. So again, GBA finale. Two thumbs up. Grabe. Ang wild ng ending. Woo! Grabe. Grabe yun. <clears throat> okay. What? What? What did just happen there? I did not expect that. Okay. So, based on what was teasered okay, in the finale, we're just going to be back for another season. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, in the end, Peter chose Lovelia. Siguro, oh, what? Hindi matanggap ng apat. Okay? Hindi matanggap ng apat. Oh. Technically. Okay, Lisa, Mimi, and Piglet, they're all members of the guild. Okay? Kagild sila, kagild sila ni Peter. And of course, Vegan, oh, Sabit. Okay? Let's just say na Sabit siya. Oh. Eh. It's confirmed, okay? Peter is now hellbent on marrying Lovelia, and the four women after him, well, willing mistresses sila, okay? So, I guess, I guess tanggap na ni Peter na itong apat na to, talagang willing sila maging concubines niya, okay? Concubines, right? Sa Tagalog, kabit. Okay. So, well, talagang decided na siyang ano eh, uh, pakasan na si Lovelia. And he doesn't care uh, if, he doesn't care if, uh, if Lovelia's father doesn't approve of him. Doesn't like him, actually. Okay? Let's be clear. Let's be clear on that. The guild master doesn't like him. Pero based sa teaser, the <laughs> finale, Mukhang may tatlo pang babae na gustong makisaw-saw kay Peter sa sa 
man milk niya. <laughs> Grabe. And, whoa. Okay. So, another girl steps in. May kapatid si Peter. Okay. Now, I have no idea what the, of uh, what, uh, of what the manga, kasi galing sa manga ito eh. Of what the manga, uh, storyline actually looks like. I have no idea. No one is sharing to me. Kasi eh, hindi mo talaga into manga eh. I'm into animes. If, if there's a manga, I would always tell myself, abang ko na yung anime adaptation niya. Okay. Ganun ako. Alright? So, well, overall, the finale is, yeah, it's really good. Okay? But, um, the takeaway was the teaser. Okay? So, proof that Peter Gwyn and the Philosopher's Time will be back. It will be back for another season. Na teaser ne. So, um, wow. All right. <laughs> Typic, um, it ended in typical Peter Grill fashion. Right? The, uh, the humor, <clears throat> Peter Grillish. Okay? And, uh, of course, the potential action. Hindi uh, ne. Dun na kasi na nag-end yung finale. Eh. sumama na rin yung apat na babae na uh, makipaglaban sa mga goblin. Kasi, well, three of them are three of them are actual members of the guild. Eh. Okay. So, pati si Vigan sumama na rin. Kasi, kumbaga, um, alay yata ng guild ang, ang mga, ang mga elf eh. Alay. Kumbaga, political alay nila. So, wow. Okay. Para lang, Para lang mga sexy Peter, susundan nila kahit saan ito. Kahit sa gera. Okay? Kahit sa gera. Grabe ang apat na to. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God, let's read it. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time Finale. Two thumbs up. Okay? So overall, Peter Grill is, yeah, the quintessential harem anime. Okay. The quintessential harem anime. Nope, it's not date a live. Nope, it's not um uh, uh, what's it called this? It's not even high school DXD. It's not even uh, the quintessential quintuplets. Please, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time is the quintessential harem anime. That's my declaration. Okay. If you're a, um, if you're a 40, if you're a, um, if you're an otaku aged 40 plus like me, well, hey, I'm going to personally recommend this anime to you. You better binge watch this. <laughs> you better binge watch this. Talaga binge watch material ang anime na to. If you're into the harem genre, okay? If you're into the harem genre, like, ang ganda ng anime na to. Like, mind-blowing, okay? Mind-blowing ang storyline niya. Mind-blowing. So, yeah. I would, if you're a, um, if you're a 40-something otaku like me, I would personally recommend this anime to you. Okay? And of course, if you're into, if you're into harem or ecchi, yeah. Kasi I, I already recommended this anime to, you um, Another streamer. Uh, she's a girl, okay? and she's uh, she's a cos she's a cosplayer in America. She's a cosplayer in the states. So, talagang gire ko sa kanya to kasi she's she's really into edgy animes. So, sabi ko, okay, I'm gonna recommend this anime to you. <laughs> so again, Peter Will and the Philosopher's Time finale. Two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, before I uh, before I end the before I end the backup for YouTube, it was uh, it's actually an honor uh, reviewing this anime. I say I've 
I've ran into edgy animes before. I've run. I've ran. In, I've seen some har. I've seen a lot of harem animes before. Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five is one of them. Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five is a harem anime, mind you. All right. Don't forget that. So I've seen a lot of edgy and harem animes before, like. Um, Edgy like needless, like um, I forgot that. I forgot that. Name. Okay, so far, Peter Grill takes the cake when it comes to edgy and especially harem. <laughs> Peter Grill takes the cake. So it was an honor reviewing this anime, although na <clears throat> in this full time. Kasi each all all its episodes are are under 15 minutes eh. So kaya medyo kinalaan na akong i-review na to kasi may gli eh. May gli lang yung oras eh. So although na all the episodes are under 15 minutes, it's really entertaining. Okay? You will laugh your ass off with this anime. <laughs> I, I I did laugh my ass off, okay? I this anime made me laugh my ass off. <laughs> and I'm 47. <laughs> Talaga, gets the gets ko. Okay? Gets the gets ko storyline nito. So, yeah. That's it. Again, for YouTube. Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. Finale, two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. Finale. Uh, uh, okay, overall, the, uh, the finale was medio bitin. Okay, medio bitin kasi uh, I think I said na uh, two part finale. Um, parang two part finale sa Super Hexeros. No, I was wrong. Parang kinumpress na nila into one episode. I, th uh, I feel na talaga dapat ginawa nila two part two part finale, right? Kung baga, hindi pa ganong kabilis sa pagpapahirap ng kisayju queen sa mga bida. Uh, parang kinulo na sila sa isang kwarto and then uh, a room that is built. Uh, that is built with uh, edge energy proof materials so hindi hindi kagad makakawala ang mga ang mga hexeros pero they should have done more okay? the producers should have done more with the finale pero don't get me wrong okay slam bang na finale okay? they were able to kill the queen they were able to kill her at saka yung pinakawala niyang uh, tawag ni Tawag ni Cha Cha Lost Monster. <laughs> Tentacles eh. Tentacles. Okay. Uh, hentai reference. Alright? Hentai reference. Kasi so, yung si Tentacles. Ten tentacles are a staple in, uh, in talagang yung mga hentai na anime. It's a staple. So, kumbaga, it's a reference to them. But, uh, yeah. Stand by finish. Okay. Uh, took my breath away with you. I don't magkakapatay dun sa uh, sa tambuhan ng octopus na kalaban nila ang Mosono tatlo Mosono, Shirayuki, tsaka si I forgot me ano, yung lumilipad yung maputi uh, of course uh, Hoshino and Enjo were able to kill the Kiseicho Queen okay? kasi overflowing yung masyado yung H energy nila so they were able they were able to exterminate her natawa ako natawa ako sa ano sa proposal ni Enjo ayaw pa rin <laughs> umilang na naman ang pagkakonservative ni Hoshino so uh, the humor is there okay the humor is there the humor is there but the uh, producer should have um, should have done more okay? the producer should have done more to make it more slam bang in nature in finale so super hexeros finale 
ya two thumbs up ya itu two thumbs up kali kasi uh, the heroes dealt with not one but two bosses considered boss yung ano eh yung giant octopus yung overgrown na octopus eh yung disage yung na octopus kasi pinakawalan ng ano yun eh to to so that she can escape pero ayan nasun nasundan siya nasundan siya nila nila Angel Hoshi nun so nag-separate so, but the heroes were able to prevail okay? they were able to kill those two bosses you're not dealing with just one boss here eh? kasi dalawa dalawang boss yung pinatay nila rito so I think that that uh, made me give them made me give the finale of Super Hexos the two thumbs up okay talaga mo finale siya will Super Hexos have a uh, have another season well the OVA is coming up it's uh, November the OVA will be coming up so pero I don't know pwede pa magka season 2 yun well, they'll be back for another season um parang 50-50 yung chance na mabigyan ng isa pang season ng Super Hexeros The manga is still ongoing. Okay, the manga is still ongoing. Uh, yeah, the, man- the manga is still ongoing. So there's there's a 50-50 chance na uh, Super Hexeros might be back for another season. Because hey, what your your biggest clue there is the OVA, which will be coming out next month. So maybe they can take it from there. Maybe they can take the storyline from there. So, but again. For YouTube, Super Hexeros ep- uh, episode 2 finale. Two thumbs up. Don't get me wrong, guys. It was a slam bang finale. Nonetheless, nonetheless, it, it was a slam bang finale. Despite um, maybe they, they maybe they should have done more. Kapag uh, dapat ginawa nila two part finale. Parang ine, eh, uh, medyo medyo bitin pa. The Kiseicho Queen should, might have uh, done worse to the heroes, to, to, to the entire Hexeros team. She might have done something worse. Uh, ewan ko lang. Uh, maybe the producers were getting worried kasi baka hindi pa yaga ng sensors. Kasi, oh, the, the Super Hexeros manga is really different from the anime. I've seen pages of it in, uh, on the net. Uh, yeah, they could have done it, but nonetheless, two thumbs up it for me. Because we got, we, they gave, they still gave us a slam bang finale. Okay. The, the heroes had to deal with two bosses. Okay. Not just the message, but the pinakawalan niyang super laking octopus na, na it's a message na mukhang octopus na kapag nakakuha ng H energy, lumalaki pala do. Really. Overall, okay. Overall, Super Hexeros is a great anime. All right. It totally for me. It totally turned the superhero genre upside down. Turned it on its head. You think My Hero Academia turned the genre on its head? Nope. No. No. It was Super Hexeros. <laughs> It was Super Hexeros. Okay. Yeah, one of the best animes. One of the best animes this year. It made my... Uh, it made the summer anime season... A, a, wow. Much more interesting. Kasi medyo... Sexual ang tema eh. Sexual ang tema ng Super Hexeros. Although it is... It is a superhero show. Okay. It's basically a, a superhero show. So again, Super Hexeros finale. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Shit. <laughs> And I thought. I've had my fill of, uh, of 
finales tonight. Okay, that's why I'm staying up late. Grabe. Putang inangan. Would you believe that Mori is... Um, is the Monkey King reincarnated? Ha? Huh? Grabe! May meaning pala yung, yung goggles yung suit na yun eh. Okay? How cool is that? Okay? The lead character going god mode in the finale. You can't ask, you can't ask for more. You can't ask for more. Talagang, um, with this finale, God of High School deserves to be one of the one of the holy trinity of Manwa. The other being, of course, Tower of God and the upcoming Noblesse. Yes, Noblesse will have, an, will have a TV anime adaptation. And, sasabihin ko na sa inyo, Twitch and YouTube, I will review that anime. Noblesse is included in my fall anime list. And I, and I am hell-bent on reviewing that. So, enough of that. Word God of High School pala. Okay? Talagang... Mind-blowing. <laughs> the most mind-blowing finale I have ever seen. Okay? And I thought GB8 was... Okay? And I thought GB8 was... Was mind-blowing. Okay? This was more mind-blowing than that. <laughs> so, but... Alright? God of High School finale, two thumbs up, and a big toe. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Grabe. I promise you, mga kalaistan, I'm going to watch this finale over and over again the moment I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> Grabe talaga! Grabe ang finale. Eh, one of the best finales, well, if not the best, uh, if not the best finale this year, one of the best finales in the last five years or so. Okay? And it's not a Jap, and it's not, and it did not come from a Japanese manga. And it wasn't based on a Japanese manga. It was based on a Korean manga. A manhwa. Uh, na ako mawala ng hininga. <laughs> Saka, when, when, I, when I first, when I, when I was watching it kanina, blew my mind absolutely all right i gotta i gotta calm myself before before going to bed <laughs> i gotta calm myself so anyway god of high school finale two thumbs up okay the best two thumbs up i have ever given in in all of uh in all of the episode reviews in all of these episode reviews and the digests okay? and that i am is since I started this thing, best two thumbs up I've ever given. This one, the God of High School finale. Grabe. And, uh, well, nakita naman natin. Uh, if you haven't seen the finale of this anime, you better, you better watch it now. Because you, you will get what I'm saying. You will get how mind-blowing the finale was. Alright? <clears throat> I'm getting electrolyte depression because of this finale. We've seen it in the final scene. Uh, in, the fi in the last few scenes. We've seen it in the teaser okay, that followed. There will be a season 2. Okay. There will be a season 2. Although, uh, it's not confirmed yet over the net. It's not confirmed yet in the official God of High School website. Pero, halata, halata. Eh. The clues are there. God of High School will return for another season. Eh, tsaka, isa pa. The manga isn't finished. Oh, manga. The manhwa isn't finished yet. The, man the manhwa isn't finished yet. Parang, parang Tower of God to. Okay. We barely scratched the surface of the entire storyline. We barely scratched the surface. So, yeah. Again, for YouTube, God of High School finale, two thumbs up. Thumbs up. Maybe we can see now that maybe we can maybe we can see it now. See you next season. See you next season, Marvel Lifestyle. 
for God of High School. Okay, so we've well, we've uh, we've we bade our goodbyes to six animes for this digest, and um, so this digest will now. And this digest pala will open the new volume of the episode reviews. Alright? So, I'm very excited to... Um, uh, I'm very excited to start this new volume. It's volume 2 na. So, this is, the, this is our first digest for volume 2. We ended volume 1 with the Thank You Kaburagi digest. Alright? Oh, by the way, to all those who have viewed... That particular digest, thank you so much, right? To date, it is my most viewed digest, okay? It is my most viewed video on my Otaku channel, okay? Thank you so much, okay? Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you to, ev thank you to everybody who, who's, who, who watched that digest even for, even for a minute. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's raining. So, well, um, so that's it for that's it for us, Mga Lifestyle. See you in the next digest. And, well, oh, by the way, we're going to introduce probably at, at a minimum three new animes next week. All right. We will be introducing at least three new animes next digest. Okay, I got no details, but you already know. Noblesse is in my fall anime list. I will review that. But I'm not good I'm not going to tell you when I will start it. Okay. Episode one. Episode one palang mapapanun yon. Alright. So to YouTube. Um thank you for sticking out with me. Especially in right now that I started volume two. Um, God bless you all, mga lifestyle. God bless you all.